A workers' union in Korea is seeking to erect a wartime laborer statue in front of the Japanese consulate in Busan. Korean Confederation of Trade Unions, KCTU. This union is known as an aggressive labor union in Korea. At the union's gathering, a man spoke about Hashima Island during the war. He says he lived on the island when he was a boy. His name is Yeon Chul Koo. In October 2016, Mr. Koo visited Hashima Island for the first time in 71 years. Mainichi Shimbun and Nagasake Shimbun reported that Mr. Koo spent six years on the island together with his family. Mr. Matsumoto, who lived on Hashima Island, strongly questions the validity of Mr. Ku's story. なるほど。尻滅裂。しっちゃか滅裂。なんかさらもって道路端に。お涙ちょうだい、お風ちょうだい。こういうバカげとと。もうやっぱさすがに水水だろうとかそういうことは許可せんですよ。<笑> Meals for single laborers were delivered at the dormitory mess. They were never given out on the streets. Japanese army soldiers never supervised the laborers' meals. もし Mr. Fumio Suzuki is a second-generation Korean immigrant living in Japan. He was born on Hashima Island and grew up there during the war. His parents are from Gyeongsangnam-do in Korea. His father worked as a corporal in the mine and his whole family lived on Hashima Island. Mr. Suzuki is skeptical of Mr. Ku's stories about the mistreatment of Korean people on Hashima Island. あ、戦時中に橋までいい考え Mr. Ku has also testified in a book published in Korea about his experience on Hashima Island. However, 
Mr. Ku's story doesn't resonate with ex-residents of the island. All Koreans were put into barracks almost like animals into cages. They were living in fear of imminent death every single day. It was the children who knew exactly how many people died each day. From the classroom, I could clearly see Nakanoshima Island. If we saw black smoke going up, that meant someone died and was cremated. Towards the end of the war, we saw the black smoke every day. Sometimes students would count the dead while studying in the classroom. Mr. Hideo Kaji identified Mr. Ku from Nagasaki Shimbun's article as his Korean friend from back then. He also lived on Hashima Island during the war. He is extremely disappointed with what Mr. Ku relates. You can see Nakanoshima Island from the school built after the war, but the school building they attended was at a different spot. Mr. Matsumoto worked for the survey department of the mine. In case of a mine accident, they always investigated the site and then sent a report with diagrams to the supervising office in Fukuoka. Kumamoto was clearly seen from Hashima Island over the sea. Yeah, Hashima can't see it. 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 Who is this person who keeps telling conflicting facts about wartime Hashima Island? What are his intentions? According to Mr. Ku's published biography, he was born in Gyeongsangnam-do in 1931. In 1939, he moved with his family to Hashima Island, where his father worked. Mr. Suzuki says that if Mr. Ku's father invited the family to Hashima Island, Things couldn't have been so terrible. It's reported that Mr. Ku spent six years on the island, starting from his second grade in the elementary school. But Mr. Tsubochi, who should have been in the same grade as Mr. Ku, doesn't remember him at all. Some parts of Mr. Ku's testimony are far too malicious to be brushed aside as a lapse of memory. It unsettles Japanese residents who lived on Hashima Island back then. The Japanese were dejected to find out they lost the war. All the inspectors and managers were gone pretty much instantly. Even the Japanese miners were gone. We Koreans found out they ran away during the night by boat. All that remained on the island was Koreans and Okinawan people. It was the most bizarre situation. 
夜逃げなんかしませんよ、うん、バカバカしいのよ聞いたらんとだって引っ越すって言ってて船の出る時間は決まってんだからさ夜逃げなんてできないもん<笑> A thousand Chinese laborers, forcefully taken from Manchuria, were on the island. I never saw any of them after the Japanese had left the island. Did they massacre a thousand people? That is far beyond the comprehension of innocent Koreans. Did the Japanese trap all the Chinese inside the mine and blow up the exit? I began to suspect they massacred them all. Mr. Tsubochi's father looked after the Chinese laborers. He vehemently disagrees with Mr. Ku's story. なんて言うんですかもうなりすまして言いたい放題<笑>書いてあるんだと思いますいかに偶然ちょるがでたらめな男であるかということその裏に何か組織が上がったものがあると偶然ちょるそのものはこれ利用されてるそういう感じを受けました私は。Back at home after the war, Mr. Ku was well known as a left wing activist. People from Hashima Island feel there must be some hidden motive behind his testimony. At the meeting of Hashima Islanders for Historical Truths, Mr. Jun Matsuo. New section vice chief at Nagasaki Shinbun says, There's truth in the story of the residents and the conscripted Korean workers. やっぱり今までにあの目殺されてきた皆さんのお話っていうものもやっぱり重要だと思いますのであのそのあたりはですねあの、まあ、きちんと、えーまあ、報道というかしていけたらなとは思っておりますその実在している人がですよその自分の体験談とかこういう苦労をしてるんだということやったら。それはやっぱり親身になって聞かないかんでしょう。だから作家で言ってるように、グーヨンチョルの場合には、実在に疑問があるわけですから。だから実,実在に疑問があって、それは抽象的なことをですね、第三者のことをいろいろと述べてるわけですけども、それに対して今言ったような、彼の意見を尊重するということはまずありえんと思うんです。それサッカー論議してるわけですから、実際で話であれば、やはりそれを我々も反省するところはあるでしょうけども、ただ、架空の実在でない話をされるもんですから、今、皆さんが論議されてるわけですから、ちょっとその辺を誤解せんのってくださいよ。ちょっと。Why has the voice of Hashima Island natives been ignored? Why is the discussion going nowhere? This is the Hashima Island Elementary School Alumni Directory, published in 1950. There are names of some Korean students, but Yon Chol Ku is nowhere to be found. 
So far, no one from Mr. Ku's age group who remembers him has come forward.